Hello guys, so today we will have a look at how we can convert a n by n matrix into three columns. So on the left, I have a sample matrix which contains some fruits like apples, oranges and mangoes. And then it has three persons P1, P2 and P3. P1 is having one apple, 12 oranges and 13 mangoes. Now if you look at the columns, I have P1 having one apple. P1 having 13 mangoes and P1 having 12 oranges and similar is the case with P2 and P3. So now let's get started. Let me open up a new sheet for this. So converting this matrix to column involves three steps. Uh, step number one says that press all DP. Pressing all DP will open up a pivot table and pivot chart wizard and step number two uh, involves filling up this wizard. So first you have to select multiple consolidation ranges, click next, then select I will create the page fields, then click next, then it asks you the range that you want to convert. So for example, in my case, I have this uh, range that is the matrix in sheet one. So I will select this matrix and then simply what I have to do is click on finish. This was step number two. Now coming to the last step, uh, this second step has led to generation of a pivot table over here. In this, what we have to do is we have to go to the last cell of this grand total. So in my case, 141 is written in this uh, grand totals last cell and we have to simply click two times. That is, we have to double click on this last cell and voila. Over here we have the three columns that you wanted. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.